Hi everyone, tonight I'm going to be reviewing Disney's Pocahontas. Pocahontas is one of the Disney movies that has a more divisive line between it. It's practically right down the middle, completely. Half of the Disney fans love it, half have some strong opinions on it, even though they might not actually hate it. As such, Pocahontas has always been an angel when it comes to Disney princesses. Not just because her movie is not based on a fairy tale, but also just not seeming to be as popular overall. And there's probably a few reasons for that, even though I think the movie is a good one. I'm going to be looking into the elements of this movie and why they might not work for some, but why I think they still work. So this is going to be a review that's trying to look into all the elements and whether or not people's arguments for them are valid. First, the story. We have a more mature storyline here than most Disney films. Both sides are perceived as having good people on them, but still are making the wrong choices because that's what fighting is usually. It's usually people that aren't willing to talk things out. While we have our typical villain for Disney, even he doesn't have the same presence as a typical villain. While he has the greed and is certainly evil, Governor Ratcliffe, he doesn't do a lot in the way of a villain like by making all his actions himself. It's more manipulating the other characters, which leads to the more mature story and showing how anybody can be swept up into this sort of hatred, which makes it more relatable. But at the same time, some people find the fantasy aspects like Grandma Willow or the comedic parts of Miko, Flit, and Percy to be off-putting in a movie that's supposed to be more realistic, but at the same time, that's not what Disney is. They never have been. Take a look at their fairy tales. They've all been watered down greatly, so it's needless to say that the same thing would happen to Pocahontas, which reality is even worse than things that are in any Grimm's fairy tale because it's a much more real threat, obviously, as it had actually happened and no promise of a happy ending. Others criticize the relationship with John Smith and Pocahontas because of their ages being different in real life. And again, it's a Disney movie. They really want to push the romance angle, which might be offensive to some, but I don't think it's that terrible. You're not going to be watching this movie for history. You're going to be watching it because it's Disney and you love Disney. But I do really like how mature the storyline is. And the ending really is special because it doesn't have the typical dreams come true, have a labor after, married ending of our Disney films. Which makes it really stand out from the others. As well as characters that are all making mistakes and the actual villain not being able to be the real main threat really. He doesn't even interact with Pocahontas which really makes it so it's not a typical villain hero relationship. The animation for this movie is phenomenal as all Disney films. I especially love the nature parts and some of the musical numbers, especially Colors of the Wind look great with the way everything in the scene, especially the leaves that come along and they act as a great symbol when Powhatan realizes to stop the fighting to some show Pocahontas' free spirit to show how Pocahontas and John Smith will always be with each other in their hearts and we even hear about how Pocahontas' mother is all around them in this film, which is a great 
way to show some of the Native American culture, and even that ties in with the elite metaphor. So that is another great part of this movie, and some real creativity, and subtle but very beautiful. Actually, the Native American culture in this movie is brought a lot through animation, some of the smoke signals and images. Everything in this movie looks so beautiful, and I feel like they did the culture justice, even if their storyline wasn't exactly how it should have been. The characters for this movie, I really enjoy. Pocahontas is a really strong-willed and spirited character, and what she wants in the beginning, she actually does wind up getting. She realizes where her place is, but at the same time, she does bring a lot to her people and makes an influence by stopping the fighting, which is really meaningful, saying that even if you don't get exactly what you want, you can still do great things. John Smith isn't exactly my favorite Disney hero, but... I do like him and how he changes from being just like the other settlers to once he gets to know Pocahontas to being open and wanting to help out with, help them stop the fighting between them and his knowledge of how previous, this previous encounters of people have gone lead to him being cynical but still being willing to cooperate with the Powhatan tribe. Me Miko, Flit, and Percy are our comedic reliefs and yeah they do their job and Miko and Percy really connect with the Powhatan settler conflict well. Grandmother Willow is another great character. She simultaneously has some of the funniest and some of the deepest lines in the movie, like, my back is resting my bite, and then the owls reacting, like, that was awful. All, while also giving Pocahontas some really useful advice. So, basically, an, a great Disney older character that is well-rounded, and even when she gives her comedic moments, they don't feel like they'd be out of place with her wisdom. That she offers. She has a nice, warm, caring personality and fun loving. So, yeah, I really enjoy her character. A lot of the characters in this movie are really three dimensional. Thomas is a young man that wants to make his mark and not be a disappointment to Ratcliffe or the other settlers. And when we see him kill Kokoam, yes, I know that's kind of a spoiler, but this movie's been out 23 years. You've probably seen it by now if you're watching this review. But when we see him do it, and his reaction, and how much he's changed by the end, it really is hard wrenching to see, as well as Nakoma, who while she wants what's best for Pocahontas, makes the mistake of involving Kokoam. And Kokoam, who while he wants to protect his tribe, is unwilling to listen about the settlers, the same way Ratcliffe is unwilling to listen about Native Americans. But unlike Ratcliffe, Pokemon has better intentions, and Powhatan is a good father that, while he doesn't always listen well to Pocahontas, in the end he makes the right decision and makes it so that if there's any more fighting it won't begin with him. Ratcliffe is one of the weaker Disney villains, but at the same time, like I said before, it's not about him being as intimidating as everyone's or memorable. He just needs to be a driving force for the other settlers. Even if his motivation is a little weaker with the gold, it doesn't really 
ruin the film in any way, but at the same time, he definitely is one of my least favorite villains. There's just not much to him, which is a shame because the voice of David Augenstyers, the voice of Cogsworth and Jumba, David does a great job, did a great job, and I love his characters. It's just this one isn't one of his stronger ones. The songs in this movie are also really great. Colors of the Wind is one of the most popular and beloved Disney songs. Just around the river, just around the river bend is a nice one about who Pocahontas really is and her wanting more. Savages, Mine, 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 all great songs showing the greed of the settlers and the anger of the Powhatan tribe. That is being drum really sets the tone for the movie. So the songs here are all great. Now I think part of the problem with this movie is simply it's based on a real story, so people are going to judge it harshly. But at the same time, Anastasia is a very popular movie and is also based on something that actually happened and has talking animals and magic elements and nobody hates on that movie for it. I'm not saying hate Anastasia. Never hate Anastasia. But I'm saying a movie should be held to the exact standards as other ones and having the oh and it should be judged in a way that wouldn't be hypocritical to judge another one so Pocahontas is a movie that gets a little more hatred than it deserves from certain people and I think that the people that really do enjoy it are in the right and I can definitely see why people may have a problem but you can put me down as people who can paint with all the colors of the wind so thank you for watching as always leave an anime film you want me to review in the comment section below and i'll talk to you later okay bye